In 2008, my sister Alejandra, married and unknown to us, was in an abusive relationship. She was isolated from my family and didn't come around as much as she used to. There was no red flags for the family because we had no idea really what domestic violence was. Uh, what brought me to Mariposa was um, experiencing quite a bit of domestic violence, um, abuse, verbal abuse, and uh, something that I just kind of gradually came on and grew and grew and grew. Um, and even though I denied it and covered bruises and made up excuses for what other bruises were for or from, and um, it progressively got worse to the point where it became more obvious to my kids. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm a marriage and family therapy intern here at Mariposa. I'm fortunate enough to work in both of our locations, the first one here in Orange and also in San Juan Capistrano. I'm also the community counseling program coordinator, so I'm able to provide services along with the rest of the staff for those that are suffering from a variety of issues, whether it be substance abuse, uh, anxiety, depression, uh, grief, um, and violence. You know, within the family, domestic violence, we serve the majority of the populations are women, but we do also serve men and every age group, uh, culture, ethnicity, um, the LGBTQ community. So one of the unique things about Mariposa is we offer free childcare for our clients. For them to come here and know that there's a safe place that they can bring their children while they're focusing on improving themselves and getting the help that they need and their kids are safe and having a great time is amazing. So we do offer the free childcare in both the Orange location as well as the San Juan Capistrano location. It just got worse and it got worse to the point where my kids started acting up at school and they had someone come and check at my house and next thing you know my kids are gone. So that was probably the worst day of my entire life, I would say. I, I Going through all of that abuse you would think might be, but having your kids taken because you didn't walk away or didn't say something or didn't reach out in any way you know that's it's just one of the that's like you know what you're supposed to do you know once my kids were gone I, I found a, it was really hard to want to continue living really um, because right on the paperwork it said failure to protect before you came to Mariposa there was some stuff going on in your house tell me about what was going on in your house um, my mom and dad, well, stepdad, were fighting, and my sister brought me into another room so I wouldn't have to hear all, like, the curse words, and because she didn't want me to say them when I grew up. Okay. So when you heard all that kind of stuff, what, how did it make you feel? Well, kind of sad because my parents were talking to each other like that. This is domestic violence, and she can get help and helping her formulate a safety plan because statistics show that the most dangerous time in a person's, you know, in that situation is when they decide to leave. And so making sure that she is very planful in this, if this is what she wants to do, giving her the courage and the knowledge and resources to be able to do this, to get out of that bad situation. Once they were taken, uh, you know, there was a lot, a lot of work done. I had to. I had to go to court and go through all these things, and I, that's why I found out about different, um, you know, domestic violence classes and counseling, and try to figure out why I accepted it in the first place, and why I actually put my kids through that. And I mean, you know, obviously something inside of me needed to be healed also because I was accepting it for years. So what are some of the things that you learned? When in your counseling sessions? To treat people how you want to be treated and treated and um, if I wanted to um, say like if I got like in a bad mood then she talked to me like why would I die in a bad mood and then and then we discuss it and then I would be fine again. No it was, it was really scary 
but my counselor was really amazing. And we started as a family group and we actually grew so much and, and just we became closer. We, the way we talk to each other is even different. Um, the, our whole family has just completely changed. I learn a lot more about myself and um, in our house we're just, we communicate. Like, it's so important and we're all extremely open now. It's kind of like um, all the blinds are up, you know what I mean? You're exposed, everybody's exposed. <laughs> so there's nothing you can say really that's gonna be um, really any worse. So <laughs> it's better just to say how you feel right up front and get it out and that way there's you know a lot less pain. If anything even just strikes a little bit of a nerve, I, I mean, I would definitely contact Mariposa because my life my whole family's life is like, it's completely changed. It's exactly how I want it right now. It's, I could not be any happier. I, everything is just, it's like it, it's settled and it's stronger than it has ever been before. So, so tell me about when you got to go back to your mom's house. That was just like when we went, it's just like, like going to Disneyland. Like Disneyland, okay. It's like the best place to be. <laughs> okay. I lost my sister due to domestic violence. If I could go back in time and tell her anything, it would be to reach out to family or to go to centers such as Mariposa that have all the skills that it needs to get out of a relationship. I have a lot of classes and therapy that you could get into to see the red flags about what goes into a domestic violence relationship. If you're feeling like mm, something's off, something's not right, that's the time to start looking for help. You can come here, it's confidential, and it's a safe space, and we will help you.